No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. I'm in here with my man Duno. Yes, sir. And this is the MTA interview. MTA interview. You set this up. Set this up. You said, Adam, can you help guide me through this interview? <laughs> I didn't say it like that, but I was like, <laughs> Adam. Go. That's all good. Go. I feel like Adam's like, I feel like you're the liking of it is like very like everywhere. And I'm like, I think you'll like to do this type of interview. Oh, no. because All right. Just, if you want to know me. Yes. When I was 14, 15, 16, I was so beyond obsessed with graffiti. I got caught two times in a year. <laughs> so I just, I said, I'm done. I had every graffiti magazine. I was posting on graffiti message boards. I was like fucking such a nerd with it for a couple of years. There. That's right. But I still love, like, I still love it. Everywhere I go, I'm still trying to read the graffiti. I still think it's sick as. But yeah. Yeah, we got some legends in this. Who we with? Right here, Suffer MTA, Gasoline MTA, No Moss MTA. And so, what happened in the game that y'all can just say your names now? I thought it was top secret. <laughs> Not this time. Not me personally. I'm already burnt out. I've okay. already been. I'm older. I to jail that. for it. My name's burnt. I was part of the injunction that happened. Uh, yeah. The so, biggest injunction. So right. you know what I mean. For me, it's like it is what it is. I already know my name's burnt. So I'm an open book. So MTA is like the only graffiti crew that has ever had a gang injunction Correct. in LA or in general or. Yes. Ever, 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 ever. Yes. The gang should started here too. So, but yeah, we we're the first graffiti crew where they implemented that on ten of us. What, what what took it to such a level that they felt like they had to do that? Just fucking passion. At the end of the day, the team that we had during that era, we fucking killed it. What era was that? You're asking what took them to that level? What what made them feel? Because like you know, they don't normally do these kind of injunctions unless it's like a very dangerous criminal threat like for them to take a graffiti crew that serious just feels kind of wild it, it definitely, fell, was, it I definitely it, was wild I, mean, I think it fell under the organization like how did they do this there was so much people involved it was organized mm. it wasn't two or three people this is obviously multiple people doing it and government fear you know it was like a level of coordination coordination exactly what it is like they're doing this in such a big level you know they did this once right. they could do this again they could do this again. this would become a problem you know so nip it in the bud and whatever the gang injunction statute probably says, if you read the wording of it, right. probably fell under that. There's enough of them who are doing this. They're organizing. They're networking. They're committing crimes. They're, you know? Right. Like read, I don't know what it is, but read what the gang injunction criteria is. And someone probably goes, look, they did A, C, and F. Good enough for us. Right. And they ran with that. That's probably sure the, the it was logistics. The DA at the time was trying to go further his career. He latched on to graffiti. We had the roller is really what kind of set it in motion even the more. Giant piece. In yeah, the, fucking Look, the biggest riverbed. in the world. The I don't they brought you a world. gift. Really? Yeah, yeah it's right here. Oh Check shit! That out. I don't know if you want to show that. Real I don't quick. know how you managed to keep this a secret from me because it was fucking gigantic <laughs> right there. But holy shit, no! Because I remember like, okay, what year was this? Oh fuck! What, what this you, is amazing. Two thousand five, two thousand six. Yeah, oh five, oh six. I remember seeing this like online way back in the day and just being like, what the fuck are they on in LA? <laughs> and just being like astounded. Like, like what, what, I mean, I, I feel like we should start talking about the early days before we get into like the most extreme <laughs> fucking version <laughs> of graffiti, all right, like, all right. the furthest it's ever been taken. So, okay. Give me a little bit of like your, you guys' younger days and how you all came together and what makes you three, I know there's a lot of questions, yeah. what makes you three like the people who are here to represent when I assume there's been a shitload of people involved over the years? Gas is number one OG, so he's going to have the most Super history. OG. You created the name? No, not no, at all. But he'll break it down for you right now. He's just been around yeah. the longest, born and raised from LA, been no, from not, the, but whatever. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Good enough. Yeah, Sorry. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, basically, <laughs> basically, basically. Your yeah. whole life, whatever. Yeah. Right. You're a fucking legend here. And then me and Nomas came whatever. later, so we could talk about yeah. you know, those years. From 03 and up. All right, give me a history lesson. Well, the crew itself was started by Skate. The legendary skate who was like the founder also of cbs crew right okay and uh i guess oh, somewhere shit. like i'm like i said i i've done this spiel a million times so i kind of abbreviate it i mean you're probably talking to like a layman a layman average yeah. audience normal, member when you think normal. about it it's probably a lot of people like me who they appreciate graffiti but don't really know that much of the technicality have you ever heard of skate from cbs yes as soon as you said that i'm so like ah, well, yes, okay, I remember. okay you know about graffiti and who he was basically he was a known graffiti artist from cbs crew started that whole Melrose thing and toward the latter years of his graffiti career, he decided to start another crew for exact politic reasons why, I don't know. 
but you know, he decided to pick MTA, he grabbed a group of people around him and says, I'm, I'm gonna do this new thing, and that's how it started. So did he get out of CBS or he was still CBS MTA? Some people gonna hate me for it, but when he passed away, he was not from CBS. He was kind of over the way that was going and had no animosity towards it from what I was, from this off from what I was told, just wasn't trying to be their leader and trying to have another thing, kind of like uh -huh. a little more street credibility crew instead of just piecing and stuff. Uh -huh. And so he formed that, like no animosity against him, but just something they had a little more control over, a little younger, a little fresher, a different wave. You know? And and what was that starting team like? It was him. Mind you, he passed away a year or so after he made this crew and I oh, didn't wow. meet Skate. So this is all like second mm. or third hand knowledge has been given to me. Blossom. Which so much Same. shit is in graffiti, which is kind of like a fascinating part of it, is that like who who was the man at a certain period in time? A lot of this shit is basically just like word of mouth knowledge that very few people get to really get to like know, know, right? Exactly. 100%. Yeah. So, so. so Blossom was one of them. Yeah, obviously um, Blossom. Upset. No, no, you, no, not he was not okay. He's later on. The first, I just told someone else, is that the first ones I want to say were like Blossom, Sark, Barry, Blossom, oh, it's a Blossom, um, uh, Gogo, -Go, Swan, Strone. I don't know about Swan, but Strone no, for sure. Swan was originally, yeah. Saul or no? Saul came later. Um, and this is what year, 1990, this is like 92, 93, 93, 93. <laughs> 93, 90, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, 93, solid, 93, 93, yeah. solid, 90, 93, Shroom. solid, for sure. Those, 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 I feel like you forgot to say. It's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah for um, sure. So like this, this era though, like when you first became MTA, what was graffiti to you? Like what kind of shit were you hitting and what was the day in the life like? When I got in MTA, I was a lot younger. I was in my teenage years, mid-teens. And... It was just what it is. A child doing graffiti and just destroy, destroy, tag. Still trying to figure it out. You know what you want. They're trying to figure it out. And hey, you have 10 other guys around you who are also trying to figure their shit out, who are writing on walls. And you just mesh, you know? Right. The same way any crew or gang no, or clique, I guess, fuck, forms. Dog. Hold on, hold on. I'm hot <laughs> as fuck. You're going to take a shirt off. Oh, no. Oh, You're going to take your shirt off. <laughs> My boy. Man, <laughs> this is that guy. Nah, LeBron James jersey is just keeping the Damn. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Hey, tap in, never tap out. I'm dog. burning up in this basketball yeah, I'll jersey. Keep, I'll, keep it going. I'll keep it going to get back. But yeah, basically, how does anyone really mesh together? And, you know, and I just, we mesh together and I got with a bunch of other dudes. A lot aren't even from MTA anymore, a majority. Good, 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 good. And, My bad. And <laughs> it was hot as fuck. I had to get up. Cali in for everybody, you know? <laughs> yeah, we are. Uh, we just um yeah they met well they meshed we got, I meshed with people I got put down and evolution goes on keep you know mismashing in the street doing our do. What percentage of your paint were you stealing at this time? At this time, a very high percentage because my I'm my mid teens I can't you know I stole paint as long as I could as much as I could until I became financially equipped, which is probably ten plus years later. You know, was it that or was it that the fucking Home Depot got better security? No, it, the paint I preferred using was uh, becoming few and far harder to get. They kind of got hit everywhere. They, you know, put this up. These kids are coming for this, so put it up, you know? Right. You can still go. I mean, no, you know what? The number one thing that stopped me racking was starting to hustle because I had the money to buy paint. If someone told me, why would you go to jail for $30, $40, $50 with the paint when if you just hustle right and got paper, you could just buy that paint and keep it moving and just, right. you know? So that's honestly really what stopped me racking paint was someone put me on game, have hustle better and have money. You buy everything you want, you don't, you know? You were doing shit at night or like during the day? Was it pretty much a nighttime game? Yeah, back in the day, it was things. Times are different, right? You know, <laughs> it used to be more of a daytime was, thing. No, back in the day, it was a nighttime thing. Like, okay, I mean, there was daytime graffiti, obviously, but like the big shit you saw, you see people doing big shit in broad daylight now because times have changed and. I don't know if it's cooler or whatever. The hot boys, it's definitely uh, cooler. Yeah, for like my hot age. boys. Smoother. It's down. like hot boys. Yeah, yeah. Like sure, I think it is for the Instagram yeah, and yeah, like, for sure. like I'm an old cat. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not that hot boy out there. I know all the hot boys of the city, but I ain't out there trying to do that shit. You got it's a risk doing that shit. I'm, I just I do my artwork. I do. I've been doing it for like 20, 30 years. Graffiti. I'm not like a fresh spring chicken. But you know, when so. I, when I see a dude doing some crazy shit graffiti wise in the middle of the day for Instagram, is that for Instagram? Like this is something they they would always do this at night, but okay. they're doing it for Instagram <laughs> for the video. That's depends on who it is. On average, that's, yeah, that's, I guess it's all over the place. Depends huh? who it is. Yeah, you're asking like if the writer's fucking the killing it. Like, yeah, nah. like you know, know, right? But if he's done no name or doing it, yeah, right. Yeah. So, yeah. Nomaz, when did you get into MTA? I got an MTA in 2003, officially. Me and this guy right here. Same year. Same, Same year. year. Same year. So, 
we came about, my boy uh, Suum, rest in peace. Shout out to my boy Suum, RP. Uh, him and my boy Yeps got put on the meeting before. And uh, right after that, we were just probably meetings apart, 03, I want to say middle of it. And yeah. it just, from there, has been. So were you from another crew for before you got into MT? Yes, I was. I was. Okay, okay. Yes, I was. I was. How much, all right, you guys talk about like being from a crew the same way that gangs talk about being from a gang. How <laughs> similar is it? And are there, are there like glaring differences in which, like, I mean, how much, there's not well, a ton 100%. of violence associated, I'm assuming, but probably nah. some. For the not record. even like. For the record, for the record, no, huh? for the record. Like we are not, not a gang. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're definitely, we, we definitely not, not a gang like that. So like, hey, them, them fools up there on nah. this camera talking about they from a set. They from a, I'm no, not a gang banger. No tag never, banging, no thugging. I don't portray that shit. I don't endorse that nah. shit. Each his own. Do your life. I got gang banging friends. But, I'm but don't get it twisted. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. you do. Yeah, we're you not do. afraid. We ain't out here faking out here, baby. We having fun. Nah, but you know, like as far as MTA, like where y'all from? Like we're a graffiti art crew. We do graffiti on walls or the 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 energy is to go get up and fame and notoriety, you know? Have fun. Have fun, you know? Get around the yeah. world. All that good shit. Makes sense. That's it. That's some real shit. And then when'd you get in? O for O3. O3 as well. But you're not from LA. Nope. Where you from? I'm from, well, I grew, I grew up in the Bay in the and Bay. then I moved to Washington State and that's where I grew up. Yeah. And then back to Frisco and then from Frisco down to LA. Okay. And I'm like gas. I'm older too, so. And then for when you were in Frisco, were you from another crew over there? I was from CA. You were from CA over there? Yeah. Which is also a legendary crew yep. in, in the whole graffiti game. Yeah, we just were about to do 30 years in that crew too. Damn, uh, that is crazy. Yeah, years. You're CA too, Nomas? Yep. yep okay. Yep, CA. Yep. Come on, Doc. Come on, my you bad. Already know. Come on, you already know. You already know. If you're in a gang, you could pretty much only be from one gang. But you could you could be part of multiple crews. I'm from multiple crews. crews. Like I might as well say that because everyone's I'm also I'm from MTA. I'm well, from West Coast record, artists. Like I'm from UTI. Said. I'm from JOR and I'm from TBU as well. You know I'm not gonna sit here and be like I'm just from MTA. Like, fuck this, the camera. I rip all he those knows. crews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 for sure. You know? He knows who rises to the top. Right. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but okay, like to what extent? Like how does the crew remain a crew as the years go by? Because it's easy for me to understand how throughout the course of you know years or months that it's like you can remain tight. It's just a group of friends. This is what the crew is. But it feels like there's it's maintained itself in a way that's kind of different, right? Absolutely. Well, just like you said, what we promote, what we're about is individuals. All of us. It's next level. So compared to all these other crews that promote all this other bullshit. MTA has never been like that. And for us, we create better people. Dope anybody shit. who fucks with us becomes better, period. If you come into our life, you're going to be better. That's just how we've always been. Facts. Rolled Facts. For the past, since I've been in, since mm. he got in, since, you know, and we just keep it going. There is no like hierarchy, anybody's better than, but definitely to keep it going, like you said, it started with a leadership role, you know, somebody yes. that can fucking take those reins in a sense and be like, okay. We have a bunch of dope individuals that come from fucked up families and homes and shitty situations. How can we fucking, how can we make them better? That's, mm -hmm. that's not an easy task, but if you're mentally ready to take that on, you can make everybody around you dope as fuck. And that, that, that was my goal. And I, you know, we it's all goal, did that for together. Sure. All right. So. I, I got a question. I realized when I uh, spent some time hanging out with the OTX guys that yeah. there's definitely people out here doing graffiti that are under the influence of extremely powerful drugs. Oh, 100%. Oh, I, we don't promote that. Do, do you respect it, though? Like, how like how common is that? And do you respect that? To me, it seems like you're just asking to get fucking thrown in jail. Nah, you're, to to me, each their own, dog. Yeah, like, to each his own. To each his own. Because at the end of the day, whatever, that's their business. But do you guys allow that it? That shit's toy. Do we allow, do we allow it? drug I use? Mean, yes. If you're smoking I mean, dope, and you're just let's out there just be honest, out. There's, oh, it's 90 percent it yeah no most graffiti not. writers are degenerate fucking idiots let's just keep it real <laughs> i'm just being 1000 yeah, people get mad at that's me that's the character funny, type man. that's I'm, it it's sad i'm not co-signing that I'm, one but, but, oh, but you fucking with us and we're gonna change that well, narrative is, period yeah it's definitely gonna be you. different dope as fuck over here on ain't no time. ain't no obviously there's been addicts in our crew it happens in life but that's fuck everybody. no, we don't that's promote every, that shit. Everybody. I'm never people are going to do things. You're asking, do we condone high. it? If you do shit, I don't think anyone's going to sit there and tell you what you're doing is right. right and pat you on the shoulder for throwing your life away on a substance. But then again, you're a grown-ass man, and I'm not your dad. So what the It makes sense to you know? me because I know I know a lot of like rappers who rap about like how dudes need to take a molly to catch a body and shit like that. Yeah, totally. You got to like, pop a molly to do a throw-up. So do you want to know if people want to pop a molly to go 
catch a billboard or something? Well, I mean, it kind of makes sense to me because sometimes when I see people do really extreme shit graffiti wise, especially in the middle of the day, I'm like, I don't know how the fuck you get yourself in the mental state to do that. Drugs would kind of make sense to me. Adrenaline. Yeah. Adrenaline. But also, yeah, but also the love for graffiti for you guys, for you guys, I mean, fuck, don't say your age, but you guys are still all in love from what I know with the I'm, game. I'm a yeah. lifer. I'm a lifer. For, for the rest of my life. That's a part of my lifestyle. It's funny you know because saying? most people will be like, you guys are fucking idiots because you don't get anything from graffiti. Mm -hmm. There is no finish line. You don't get fucking money. You don't. You get a lot of bullshit, to be honest with you. <laughs> but Unless you carry with bullshit. You know at I mean? the same time, if you have you know something you love in life and you're able to do it, that's a blessing. And I, I live every day to the fullest but because of it. I got a question, Mike. Does graffiti, I feel like when I was a fan of graffiti, it was very much like this. Do you look at anybody who clearly is trying to get something out of graffiti? Do you look down upon that? And what I mean by that is like social media clout, you know, money, trying to get like legal gigs and shit like that. Is that still kind of like scorned and looked at as like not true to the real culture? For us, we don't hate on anybody. If any, you guys want to go that route, all love. That's what's up. We focus on us and the group that we have and we just keep it pushing. Like, right. I don't hate somebody wants to go to the art world, crush it, kill it. That's I want you up. to kill it. If your homies with me even tighter, I know you, you made it though. You know what I'm saying? But so I know you see a lot of shit that you're like, yo, that's yeah, whack as fuck. For Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. But for that's sure. with anything. That's for, for sure. sure. Right? <laughs> Toy shit. So what do you think Instagram did a graffiti? Mm. I was in prison when Instagram came out. How long? That did makes you do? two of us. I he did ten in the feds and I did two I did two on a four. All for graffiti. No, no, I was on. Oh, okay. I was no, my sister's like, no. he's the grimy side of the couch for sure. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> so, I'm like, you did 10 years of graffiti? I don't I know, know, man. Uh, so, friend, God, so like this, our total friend we were talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So, Instagram was new to me when I came out. I didn't know what it was. I right. was like, what the fuck is this? And I was still like cloak and dagger. Just until recently, I started showing my face. I started doing videos on my Instagram. Right. I'm all about fucking making people better. Right. Finding my purpose, all that type of shit. So, fuck, bro. I mean, like, social media, like, Instagram is going to have the same effect on graffiti it has on everything, which is, like, on one hand, it's a great place to just chronicle the shit image-wise that you have going on, but at the same time, it creates this really perverse incentive structure where everybody sort of has this score of popularity that they could judge themselves by, and it kind of... Oh, for sure. It might even, like, warp but, the actual art because all of a sudden you're doing shit to get likes and you're not doing shit that you just think is dope for yourself. But if you're really in the streets and you're bombing like and every city, fools know. That's what it's about. It's, it's really right bombing there. That's the a streets. lifestyle. Everything else that shit is different over here. Is watered down. But if you're really putting in work every day, bombing, then people are gonna know. Right. If they took away if Instagram into it, if you're tomorrow, you're not into it. Nobody gives a fuck. If it took away the Instagram tomorrow, those who were accomplished and shine on Instagram are still gonna shine in the day to day world. You know, like anything else. If you was dope without Instagram, you're gonna be dope with it. Without you know what I'm saying. I remember back in the day watching a Coke 2 doc documentary where he was talking about how people would hate on him for trying Snitching? to get his shit in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See, that must be new information. I ain't watched this documentary hey, in 20 years. Oh, shit. Hey, uh, hey, I, 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 Jesus Christ, you can just throw that out there. But <laughs> Adam's like, clip. I'm, I'm just saying, he was talking about how back then people would hate for you trying to get in magazines or whatever because like that was like the clout move of the time which seems kind of quaint in comparison to these days where it's like social media you could build up a youtube channel yada yada is probably more common right i would say yes but at the same time like fuck that person still had to paint the piece get right. the paint take the picture go to the post office ain't no one trying to do that shit but yeah. back then so but now Can't we look at that like, it. oh, that's mad respectable. If you get your shit in a magazine, that's like a shitload of work. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 100%. amazing. Yeah. In comparison to Instagram where it's just bing. Yeah. Everybody checking okay. out. We're all, we're all three of you guys part of the indictment? Nope. No. The gang injection? I was. Nope. You were. No, yeah. you were? Yep, yep, yep. For sure. Guys, you were so proud. Nope. Yeah. He's like, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. He's like, we lived to it. We survived yeah. that much. Yes, yes, we did. Okay, so can you run us through though that first year, those first month, the day they hit you guys? What happened and all that? Oh, whoa, fuck it. Actually, let's talk about this first. The biggest roller ever done in graffiti. Yeah. That's let's a talk about that. Ever, ever. How does this idea even come into fruition? Because this has to be like 10, 20 times bigger than the other biggest roller you ever seen. And we right? need details. We need, to know, we need to know how much pain, nah, who so fucking, whose idea was it? And My idea with, who the fuck was I with? Centaur? Up here. Up here. Up here, for sure. Toro. And Toro, I think, I was with. <laughs> Legends. And I said... I want to go bridge to bridge. And they're like, what are you talking about? I want to go from 1st Street to 4th Street or whatever the fuck it was. So 
whatever. That's how the idea started. I was like, okay, I think we could do it. I'm going to bet. I'm going to bet. I'm going to throw five bands on the Seahawks. And if we win, we do the roller. If Reason, we don't win. Practical financial advice yeah. right there. I, I like we, it. If we don't win, yeah. we ain't doing the roller. We hit. We're up 4,800. And we just go clear out all the Home Depots. I rent a van. Prior to that, we have a meeting. It's fucking go time. You guys, I want. Who's every, in the meeting? Everybody. Squad. We're squad deep. deep. At that point, deep. there was probably 25 of us at least at the meeting when we have little gatherings, barbecues, chill right. out, whatever. Yeah. So, hey, at this time, I kind of went into that leadership role. So, hey, Suf, this is what I need from you guys. I need you guys to show up for the next four days. It took four days. It took longer than just that. that but night. just for them, I just need, we just needed the team to show up for those first, the first day we went and fucking sketched it out with, with us, with a can, just right. like made the markings. Okay. Now we got to go find all the paint, rented a van, cleared out, I don't know, three or four home depots. <sighs> we had a gang of rollers. We had like 30 sticks, Boom. gray tarps to match the concrete, to lay the supplies down and cover it. So you, they wouldn't see it. Cause it's right in front of the station and the helicopter. Helicopter flies right above. Yeah. Couldn't you have picked a more low key spot? <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, the at goal. the end of the day, like it was in the LA river. Like no one gave a fuck. No one was going down there. At right. that point. You know, at that yeah, point, like, okay. at that that point, was like a graffiti that point. paradise. Uh. So <laughs> we get all the paint. It ends up being <clears throat> about 500 gallons of paint. Everybody, I lived in downtown. So everybody met in my parking lot. We fucking piled into the van. We would drive into the river. I'd drop everybody Yo. off with the supplies. Different team at a time, too. And then fucking come back, do it again. What do you mean by different team? There was like shifts? Like there was more no. people. Yes, there was, there there was, was like a lot of eight, people. nine motherfuckers jumping out the van. Yeah, I think we fit like go 12 back, at a time. And there was, like 20, yep, yep. there was like 24 to 26, 28 people a night <laughs> helping us. Literally. Vicious. We had the homies, dad, pops uncle, across brother. the street, posted up. Getting- you guys earned that indictment. Let me oh, tell you, because that right, that sounds like some shit that would get you indicted, like a team but, of criminals. Hey, you know, you got twenty eight motherfuckers under a tarp. Now, now you understand why I told you. See, like, like they didn't look at like all oh, these two kids went to spray paint yeah. an empty lot. Yeah. This took some coordination organization yeah. to the point like if people. If- Government shit. If people start organizing like this, making crime happen like this, we can't stop it. How much in the butt. thought had you given into like what might happen aside from like, oh, maybe the cops pull up and everybody's got to run and a couple of people get arrested? The first night, we're, I'm driving out with the homie and we have to open the gate to get out of the little tunnel and fucking LAPD's right there and they light me up and the homie just jumps out the front seat and dips. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? We're burnt. We did the first night, goddammit. And right. all, I just dropped everybody off. They're all down there. He's like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, I just rented the van. We're doing some donuts down there, fucking around, whatever. And he's like, get the fuck out of here. And I was like, fuck. But no, I wasn't even like that. It was by the fifth night. Yeah, I was like, they're coming. They're watching us. We need to get the fuck out of here. Right. But the first couple of nights, like, no, nah, we're good. And then as the nights went on, other riders would come down to see what we're doing. And just like you said, it. A whole Spreads, show like across that. the street watching the whole it's thing like, oh, shit. unfold. Wow. There was people cheering you guys on, or was it like on some hated shit? Nah, for nah, sure. They were love. definitely all love. All love. Like, all love. Hell you know, yeah. Like doing this watching shit. Yeah. greatness. This is like very it, early internet, but was it like viral basically right away? Was, I don't remember. Nah, yeah. even to get that flick, no, we went, I rented a helicopter so we could go and fucking get the, there wasn't no drone shit then yet or right. anything. So fucking Burbank Airport, rented the shit, came, went, got that flick right there. Was that in the indictment? Yep. <laughs> they said they rented a helicopter. They said all kinds okay. of crazy shit. Wait. If you rent a helicopter to commit a crime, that's that's a big deal. Wait, wait. Yeah. So was it true that you you planned the whoever planned the the plane route? You guys planned it to where planes fly over. No, it was just so that, big you couldn't oh, be denied. You could see it. That from was the, the fucking, extra. That was extra. Oh, just that, the news. The news actually yeah. went crazy. Oh, extra. Oh, the news so went like, extra. So there, a lot like, of so there was like a saying that yeah. they fucking did the whole thing, and I was like. These motherfuckers the really went, path. but it was the in the flight path. path. They just so coincidentally happened to be in the flight path. So they came. You know, they, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't like they, that was. A I mean, I, but yes, obviously, any graffiti artist you want the most people to see it as possible. So it yeah, makes sense, you know. So they came at us first criminally. They came, kicked down the doors, had the news cameras, all that. All that. Who got hit first? Before the everybody that was still on the indictment, but we knew they were coming. We uh, knew. Fucking, uh, so it was, it's kind of a crazy story. So it's like one in the morning, I'm chilling. I get a phone call. 
Actually, I get a text, fucking possible raid on MTAs tomorrow. We're like, what the fuck? I call the homie like, yo, what is this? He's like, yo, my boy just texted me. Uh, the homie. The homie just texted us. You got some good homies. A hundred, yeah. hundred, oh, bro, this guy said you have no Next idea. Next level. No He's idea. basically. He saved me. He saved me. But anyways, so I'm like, okay, who's this source? Is, is it reliable? Are they a drug addict? What's the deal? And they're like, no, I went to school with this girl. She's normal as fuck, blah, blah, blah. I was like, all right. Send a group text out to everybody. Like, hey, get your shit. Get the fuck out. No if you're later. on file, for sure. Yeah. They're coming to your fucking door. <laughs> get up out of here. Sent the text. Of course, I was on parole, so I couldn't go nowhere. But um, I waited so, out front. So a lot of people got out of town? No. Me and my boy were the only ones that paid any attention, stayed at the hotel, and everybody else got popped in the morning, 7 a.m. So you got to be on the run for a while? I was on the run for, yeah, for like two or three weeks. Wow. So everybody that got busted didn't say shit after like whatever, three or four days, everybody got released. And that was it. We were, you know, obviously hot. Some people got deported, this, that, and the third. And then, I don't know. Damn, they got deported because of this. Yes. Yeah. They got deported. Wow. Mo, Centaur. Yup, yup, yup. Man, the love for graffiti would do that to you, dog. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's deported, bro. <laughs> yes, wow. yes. It could. That's crazy. Yeah. But so then, how'd they come at you after that with the... With the civil suit. Right. That's when they tried to sue us. That's when they hit us with the gang injunction. That's right. when they were like, okay, well, we can't prosecute you criminally. We're going to come at you civilly and shut you fuckers down. So criminally, they couldn't prove it just because there wasn't any like real evidence no, well, or anything? Well, nothing. And, and, and nobody, nobody snitched. snitched. And nobody, 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 yes, yeah, everybody nobody held snitched. their tongue. That's a fact, for sure. Right. Even motherfuckers that weren't even on that... We're supposed to be on the indictment, for sure. Held their tongue. They weren't even from MTA. Anymore. But did they like confiscate your phones and computers and shit yes. as well? Yeah, and they couldn't get evidence out of that. So we knew they were coming. Right. So for me, me, I had everything emptied out. The homie had everything emptied out. So a lot right. of people didn't still didn't have enough evidence. But right. But then, so with the civil suit, how did they go about proving that you guys were You don't right? have to prove shit in a civil suit. Really? You, no. 90 fucking something percent of all civil suits, you settle. Yes. Right? You never usually win or lose. It's rare. But it does happen, but it's rare. But yeah. But it ended in jail time. No jail time. I was already facing a lot of years in prison. Okay. It all hit me at once. When they got me on that indictment, I was already in Supermax. I had just seen my lawyer on my case. And I thought he forgot to tell me something. And they're like, they called me back down. And I'm like, yo, what's up? And I walk in the room and it's the sheriff, the DA, and some other asshole. Right. And the main fucking piece like, of shit. The oh, main piece of shit. Oh, you know, fucking, you know, you write stuff for this, that, and the third. I'm like, what are you talking about? I just played super stupid. Like, what are you talking about, bro? Like, I think you have wrong information. And he's like, you don't remember being arrested in this state and this state with this person? And I was like, I don't even know who that is. What are you talking about? And they just slammed down this fucking booklet. And they're like, you've been served. They were talking about your boy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> about you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So fucking. Oh, uh, so yeah, that's how I got indicted, not knowing that all oh, these guys had already been hit. What's it like being in prison for graffiti? Are you like regretting it, or are you? Just I kind of like. I never went. To, I went to prison on some drug shit. Oh. This fool went his first I, time. My he first did sixteen with half. For, for prison, for sure, for graffiti. And, and what, that's what, when. What? How's that feel? <sighs> Cause you love it so much that it feel it felt rational doing it, right? Like, but how does it feel living with the consequences like that? It was a part of the lifestyle, man. You gotta accept your wins with your losses. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that was just it. But I feel like uh, I became better. You know what I'm saying? That shit was dope. I, I I learned from it. Fucking grew and went and got into some other shit. Fucking, but for the most part, I mean, I definitely. Lived it, cool, came out, it was nothing. <laughs> right. So before, backstory just for him, like, he was going down that path. Wanted to gangbang, want a lot of the little homies. I'm a little older, but they also like graffiti. So when I saw that, I took him in and said, hey, I'm going to show you throw-ups. I'm going to show you some shit. It's way doper than fucking gangbanging. That shit's for the birds. And fucking come fuck with me. Right. And then... They went the graph route. Never did I think in a million years that they'd send a motherfucker to prison for fucking graffiti. Mm. But Never. Came, even if you got caught three, four, five times. But Seven, eight times or some shit, whatever. regardless. But yeah, so they yeah. do. And I would have never thought that, but that's the way it goes down here. Wow. Crazy. Damn, but you went to the feds for a whole other thing. Yeah, that was a whole different, that was a whole different the, thing. That was a whole different thing. Yep. But for yep. graffiti, you did, you were 
in and all the county and then finally hit prison for it. Yes. The many multiple fucking 594 over and over and over catching the case, they finally said, fuck this, let's send this food to prison. Right. That's how it worked out. Okay, but at a certain point in your graffiti career, does it just begin to feel like, all right, I got to, if I'm going to continue to express myself with spray paint, I'm just not going to be able to do it on fucking overpasses and shit. Like, have any of you guys had that realization of like, if I'm going to keep doing art, I'm just not going to be able to keep doing it the same way as I get older? Or? No, you can still crush. Okay. You just <laughs> still. For me. Yeah. For me. You can still crush? No, it's yeah. Cool. No, you hop a flight. You go to Europe. Oh. You, go, you know what I'm saying? There's this world. It's a big world out there. And graffiti over there compared to here, shit's on it. Really? It's wide open, dog. Every country I've been to, like, we take spraycations. People take vacations. We take spraycations. <laughs> graffiti is 100% alive and real with MTA, dog. We we live this shit. So being able to be like you said, I know I can't paint in LA. I'm burnt as fuck. Mm. I, I'll sprinkle a couple spots, but that's as far as I'm going. I already know. I did my shit. I'm good. But as soon as I get out the country, it's go time. But isn't the potential police interference maybe even worse out there? I mean, you don't want no, to catch I a case to, in Spain, right? Dude, I just I went to pri- <laughs> dude, I went to jail, went to jail oh, in shit. Paris last week. I just got back. Last week. Yes. Last week. What day is today? Thursday? Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. 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 So, yeah, Barcelona, Rome, Paris, New York, here. Is, is been, getting caught in Paris not as big a deal? I'm not going to lie. It was intimidating. Like, I got away. I did some Jason Bourne shit. It was tight as fuck. I burnt these fools. They're probably half my age. But in the process of the chase, I lost my side bag, had my fucking ID, oh Airbnb keys, all this shit. So well, That'll do it. That's For it. Sure. So I made it back to the Airbnb, but I was locked out. So I was just sitting on the steps. And like two hours, three hours later, these fools come. Right. Paddy wagon. And what you got to do? Just give them some money? And I just, nah, I just laughed. I was like, fuck it, let's go. They cuffed me, drove me to the fucking ghetto of Paris, and let me go in like 10 minutes. Really? But they didn't give me none of my shit. I had no money, no phone. I didn't have jack shit. And I was in the hood. I mean, they were fucking smoking crack in the street. They're hollering at French, trying to sell me drugs. I'm just like, Ugh. Just grunting and shit, just trying to make it through, dog. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it was nighttime. I was like, oh, this is this is uh this is not where I want to be. Wow. That's sick. Well, yeah, it was a cool little story. I respect that. No, because I was I've been on vacation, like we were on some we were on Guadalupe, the island. Yeah. And it was like pretty obvious to me that like a couple graffiti dudes had just like taken a little trip there for a week and just fucking Smash. tore everything up. Unless there just happened to be a couple dudes who lived here, which it didn't seem Likely, but I was like, that's that's inspiring. That must be fun. Oh, fuck, you guys remember the first time you guys almost died hitting like a, a billboard or maybe just some street shit? Like while fucking doing graffiti? Myself? Anybody? Or anybody, any of you guys. I mean, I've been shot at. Wait, you guys, you got electrocuted? Mm-hmm. Downtown LA, my rooftop. My other boy, Resicum MTA, I was going up there to do our shit and grab the wrong connection and electricity did the rest. You know? How bad was it though? I still fucked up nerves in my right hand to this day. Wow. Like the skin had burnt up and it was like, like toes, you could like chip it off, like the epidermal layers. Wow. It still has nerve damage to this day. That's fucked up. But did you guys still paint the spot? Fuck no. Oh no, you, you have to go to the hospital right away. I didn't go to the hospital. I just, what are you going to do? I mean, I'm young. I was like, what, 20 maybe? 21? What am I going to do? No, no, seriously, when that happened, shit, I was like 19. That was real. My first pad, yeah, like 19, 18. What are you going to do? Walk in my hospital and be like, I was up on a rooftop, illegal, doing a felony vandalism, and like, yeah, they might cheat me, but they also might fucking have a cop. I wouldn't tell them all that. I would say I got electrocuted by an electric fence or something. <laughs> they but move. still, where did you get electric? You know what I'm saying? Like, I would just not say anything. Like, not gonna, <laughs> like, I don't know. I know. They're not going to ask that. Right? Right? I was <laughs> back to the crib. I was just like, I'm alive. I didn't go to jail. Let's just go home and just. It still wasn't meant to be. Up. Is that yeah, pre-workout or is that lean? No, this we is, don't fuck around, this dog. Is water this is water. Like, <laughs> you smoke joints. He's so used to rappers. I know. He's like, fuck, what is that? What about you, Nomas? What's up? If you remember one time you almost died, um, hitting a Billy freeway. I can't recall. Definitely not at all fucking about to die. Fuck. You know what I mean? Hope not. That's a big but, one. For real? Most dangerous almost situation die? you That's, found yourself in. I almost like, Not I, from falling, but from fools. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, okay, that that counes too. This is a fool. I would think more people nah, nah. get I'm, that I'm, I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm one From of them. That, <laughs> I've definitely been shot at multiple times. By who, like a gang Just man? Gang, yeah, fool, yeah, being the wrong hood yeah. off the freeway. Like, I remember turning around and seeing the fool, like, Ricky fucking out the window with the double barrel, like, 
boom, and, and I was just I was chips of the fucking freeway wall. And, I'm and they know you, they know you're not a gang member. They don't give uh, a green fuck. Green light they just on want the you. target practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Fucking lands. Get these fools. Like, oh shit, I'm out. Fuck taggers. Yeah, I'm out. Hey. I remember all that for sure. Do you respect Duno as a alleged graffiti icon? <laughs> No, no, do you guys know anything about what he's got going on? He's a comedian. A comedian, right. But he's, cr- that's, but that's he's got the some avenue. notebooks. He'd be writing his name and shit. Oh, he's passionate about it. Yeah. There's no doubt. Okay. <laughs> Shout out our boy Zoner. I heard, I heard yeah, you were coming out. Big Zone, for Jason sure. Jason just told me, he's like, I think we might have underwritten or like underestimated Duno. I think he, he went in the graffiti game. I think he's out here. I used, probably not now. Like, he's, he's started, say, there's, oh. a, there's a difference between liking it and growing up with it, mm. but the passion Dam and their crew has is like, out of order, because I remember growing up, it was fucking one. When you start painting, you always get this history about the city. So I grew up like in downtown Echo Park. So it's like the biggest crews were from our area, you know, the MTAs and all these other crews. And you hear this, and then you go to YouTube, which is my era of internet, and then you see this fucking fucking bridge to bridge shit. And then you finally meet one growing up in the fucking the Echo Park lay while everybody's fucking drinking forty. Then you're like, wow, that's you. You did that. You never really want to ask because obviously it's different when you're. The youngest one there was certain older homies, but it's like, huh, you're part of that crew that, you feel me? That's what we do it for, to inspire the youth, you know what I'm saying? All the younger kids, even older people, I don't give a fuck, like, straight up. Like, if we can inspire you to fucking go after your dream, your passion, I don't give a fuck what it is. That's what, that's what we project. That's what we want. Give me the overall health of graffiti in L.A. I feel like myself, along with a lot of people during COVID, we were like, damn, there's a hell of people hitting the fucking freeways and it's shit. It's beautiful right now. You, you're, it's like stronger than it's been in a long oh, time, I feel like. I haven't seen it this crushed with spots running, like in like downtown and all over, really, just be, since the pandemic. Right. right. It, it's almost like Europe in a sense, because Europe it's everywhere, bro. There is no like spots on the ground. Right. You better you go bring to Spain a fuck. And shit, yeah, you're not. Just, you better yeah. got to bring a ladder, all that shit. Mm. And here, hopefully, it slowly starts to get like that because at the end of the day, bro, it's just wasting a shit ton of taxpayers' money. Mm. It's never gonna go away. Just let the shit. I don't pay a lot of taxes. Do you feel like the cops are not as aggressive with it as they used to be? Hell no, not right now. Really. They got so much. I don't want to find out. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want to find out. Though. But it feels like a lot of crimes. The punishments are a lot more lax these days. Oh, once they started that whole defund shit, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, it's pretty wide open out there. It's crazy out there. But like, can a cop see you and not really trip as hard as they used to? I mean, they... I try and crack a smile, though. You know, what I'm saying? right? <laughs> Fuck it. It feels like a lot more cops are kind of like in on the joke. Like that's kind of how I felt. Of like, hey man, it's all good. Like like even riding bikes and stuff during the pandemic, I felt like a lot more times cops were just talking to me like a fucking human being, and it was it was weird. I think I think it depends. Like if the cops having a bad day and you just happen to be painting, and oh, he's yeah. gonna you fuck he with you. Book yeah, you. for sure. But then some couple, for sure. I've I've got him pulled over and actually off Whittier Boulevard, and they just took our shit and popped all the cans in front of us that we had in our backpacks, and was like, "Get the fuck out of here, get lost." Wow. And that kind of sucked more. I was like, "Fuck, I suffer." You know what I mean? All the pain's like, gone. But obviously we we're under age, so we couldn't have it either way. But uh, like, you know, what I mean, now every time like every once in a while I get pulled over. And, you know, they'll be like, oh, let's check the trunk and I'll paint. I'll be like, well, bro, I do like Instagram and shit. They'll mm-hmm. be like, okay, cool, you know? Yeah, I so, wish. Every time they say, Stir, can you step out of the car? Uh, I'm like, going to jail. Fuck. Yeah. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so, so can you guys think of a couple of crews that kept up with you guys at your at your level of graffiti? Uh, I don't know. Who do you think? From They're about the same. From now. L.A.? From, from, I'm going to say just honestly, like us as a crew, like we were kind of an underdog crew for a long time. But you Very know, long time. And then we fucking, I think probably your generation, really the 03, 04, 05, 06, that, 07, that, all the way until that, now. Until the 10, to, uh, honestly, yeah, from 04 to 010. After that, it's, I guess it got a little different because I wasn't around after then, but I, I missed a lot of that. From, well, you guys do understand that you guys are the, the biggest, I'm just saying, the, like, if you guys could give these certain crews like a, hey, pal, you guys kept up, we're still better, but you know what I mean? Like, who was those crews that kept up during those throughout all these years? What do you think for for uh, for LA? You asking me? I think yeah. I, I mean, right now I the, think a uh, lot of OTR, crews are dope. OTR. Okay, they've yeah. Kinda, they've kind of kept up. They're, I mean, they're crushing. They got a solid team. For sure, they got a solid, got a solid team. team for K4Ps. Sure. Uh, those fools been paying forever. Yeah. K4Ps been paying forever. I, mean, I don't. I don't. I mean, not. I don't know about consistent or consistency. That, but like having the motherfucking streets on lock, I don't think no other. Like fucking MTA, just you know. Maybe I got uh, brothers, maybe friends BTM, out there, but no disrespect. Yes, maybe us, BTM. Shout out BTM. Uh, they they, they've okay. been holding it down for for a while, but 
I know a few. Yeah, a few individuals. Yeah, I would say. I'm just saying, like city to city, coast to coast, or from LA. Period. I I mean, it's a hard question when you're asking people that have been paying this long. It's kind of like, oh, it's it's fucking hard. As far as a comeback crew, if you want me to give it, okay. So for rollers and people that've been around a long time, the OCPs, they've been around a long time. They're still fucking getting spots from here to the IE to fucking and beyond Vegas everywhere. Fucking uh, and right now, I would say the STPs. Yeah, that, that the they, they got a cruise. They got a. I'm just saying, resurgence as far as rollers on on the side of the highways, they're killing it, and they've been for like but, probably four years straight now. I would say. One What's time. one crew or tagger that never got the respect they deserved? Oh, I don't know. The shit. Everybody. Like. I mean, if you're if you're doing it, you're gonna get love. But What's somebody from your guys arrow that you guys wish they got the the pat in the back in the graffiti game that maybe somebody from my generation wouldn't know. There's a lot, man. I don't know. Most most writers. Are, I, I have a question. Yeah. Do you know who Shy Forty Seven is? Yeah. IRL, you know him, like as a, a person. Yeah. No. I see him. Like he has so much shit. Oh, well, hopes. I've been in this game. I know like yeah, a lot like, of shit. Like, he, you know, like, like I can go. On I don't want. Uh, yeah. I, I can't say anything about where I live, but I see his <laughs> shit everywhere I fucking live. And then one time I was watching this fucking YouTube clip where this YouTuber gets in an argument with a guy, and the guy says. My name's fucking Shy Forty Seven. Like he says it, and I'm like, that probably was not him. Huh? I was very confused. Like, is this a troll? What? And then I start talking to Shy Forty Seven on Instagram, and then he eventually realized I realized it's just some kid pretending to be him and scamming people. And I'm like, yeah. damn. That's oh, crazy. so you thought it was a? He got catfish? I was talking to him, and then I realized I was being catfished <laughs> by a guy oh, I thought was writing his name on signs here in my crib. Nah, he's 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 a beast. Yeah, he does fire shit. Him exactly. and hopes. Folks yeah, gang fucking. They for, took yeah. the whole graffiti roller game. Obviously, you guys did this shit, but I'm talking about like oh, no, me, me fucking like when I, I started painting like 2012. I'm only born in 2000, so I started painting like 2012, 2013. And I remember they were just fucking on some shit. They were like at a whole other level. Like it was just always like, what the fuck? Like, is this all you do? Cause I've never seen them do regular throws. Shy or hopes. I've never seen nah, a throw. Rollers only. Rollers only. That's, yeah. that's the thing. You know, that's, their, that's their niche. You got to find a niche in the graffiti game and make yourself, you know? And they, that's their niche. I got a question. When I lived in New York back in the day, I always felt like it was like a weird tension between like graffiti artists and like street art kids. It's, it, it, because Brooklyn was just like the hipster fucking capital of the universe at the time. And everybody like is, is hyped on Banksy and shit. Does that tension still exist? You still see people doing weird ass fucking hipster uh, like wheat paste shit? I still see it, but it's not like a. It's all love. Like we just did some shit with Alec Monopoly. The homie did some shit like the other. I don't know. Was it three or four weeks ago? Yes. So it's like whatever. If people want to reach out and paint with us, it's fuck, dude. Let's rock. Yeah. Respect. So yeah, no. Like I said, it's not like we don't hate on really. nobody. I don't. We don't give a fuck what you're doing. We know what we're. I about. do street artwork all the time. I paint a bunch of street artwork. Yeah, shit. this guy's got a. A gang of gray boxes, electric boxes. Utility boxes. I paint hundreds of those things around LA. I, I do a whole. I'm an art guy. Like I'm older. I just I just rock shit. That's dope. Yeah. One time I was getting off the train when I was like 15, drunk off a of 40, and I saw you. Me? Yeah. And then I was where like, at? Uh, Hollywood. What I, year was this? Uh, like was it 2014? 2014? Are you sure? Maybe. And Ooh. I was getting off, and I was drunk. It had to be you. It had to be you. You're always drunk. But I was fucking. Sure? I was like, I was like Were drunk you drinking off 40. Still in 14? Yeah, I was still be. drinking then. Yeah, it, wasn't it had yet. to be off the red line, painting somewhere, and, and we're we're tripping. We were walking. We got I was off the painting red. in the street. Not not like a bomb. You weren't doing like a fucking I was just hot spot. Shooting. You were just like catching. You were walking and catching. Did I have a bike with me? Probably not. And it probably wasn't. It me. probably wasn't you. So I always had a bike with me. I was a bike messenger then. I always had a bike, you know, or I was in a car. That's a, that's a good job for also being Vandalism. able to get up is doing the bike message thing. I always think about that. Like, damn, if I was a Postmates driver and graffiti artist, I bet I could get some serious work <laughs> in. I bet there's some people out there crushing that, that yeah. route. Some people, some UPS people drive around the city all day. I drive around the city all day. I do, I do, do a couple thing, deliveries, yeah. buy a couple cans, <laughs> back at work. There you Straight go. letters, stories, or style? For me, all of the above. I don't have overall style because if you're still doing straight letters and throwies for 20, 30, 40 years, like, do you ever elevate? Like, yo. 
Damn, that's our zoner sounds like when he talks to us. But I don't like <laughs> elevate shit. Like, I don't like fucking super, like, like I, I respect. You don't like I, you my don't favorite? Favorite? I respect the super technical pieces and the Euro looking ass abstract 3D looking shit. I respect it, but I don't really want to look at it. It don't got to be that crazy, though. Just like. I mean, my favorite shit is tags and throws. Like, For sure, tags and throws. Yeah, because when because when you're going down Melrose, I I understand some of the shit as a obviously as somebody that loves graffiti, but like some of the shit is like, all right, bro, you did too much that only you and whoever was there understands the shit. So I should. Gotta and have like, a foundation. And, and then it just looks like you added extra lines to your letters, so it just makes it look extra. Fucking you're talking about cool. like the pieces, the graffiti pieces. Yeah, the graffiti about? pieces, graffiti pieces. Well, some of that shit isn't a piece, really. So, you know, if they're dope pieces, they're dope pieces. If it's just shit thrown on the wall, then it's shit thrown on the wall. Yeah, because some of the shit I'd be like, I don't fucking understand this shit. That's too much. Yeah, it's got to be legible. It's got to be legible. It's like tattoos. Like, tattoos, like, I appreciate, like, classic fucking simple tattoos, thick black lines, shit like that. I like that type stuff. You know, it's not for everybody. But I feel like, I don't know. When I want I see graffiti, I just want it to look a certain way. I don't want it to look so abstract. But that's just me. And so the you can read? read? Reading is good. Yeah, I like being able to read. <laughs> You're like, fuck it. Like, how much yeah. money did the article say they took when they raided your, your, your spot? They said they took a lot, but they didn't. They said they got the chain, but they didn't get the chain. How uh, much was the chain? I just had got it appraised. It was like at 30, 32. 36 or some shit. You dropped 32 on, a, on an MTA chain? Yup. Back in the day, when you're young, you do stupid shit, bro. I would <laughs> never do no shit like that again. Let me tell you. Where's that chain now? You sold it? Uh, I did sell it. Mm-hmm. Hey, when you go down, you know what I'm saying? When shit happens, the shit hits the fan, you got to sell some shit sometimes. Damn, you sold the MTA chain, dog? Yeah. Well, it's a long story. I could, I could get into it, but in the end, yeah, got burned the whole night, but whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, fucking... Uh, so they didn't even get the chain. So like I said, we knew they were coming on that raid. Uh, so long story short, they were all having a dinner. All the sheriffs were having a dinner at a Denny's and they were talking about it. Oh, we're gonna raid these cocksuckers in the morning, blah, blah, blah. Some g- random chick sitting in the next booth and she just knows a graffiti writer. And she's like, calls him like, hey, you know the MTAs? And it's his ex and shit. It's like his ex reaching back out. Like- the homie's ex. Shout out her. Shout out her. her. So long story. So she fucking get all that. We're like, all right, we're out. I only left a little like canvas in my apartment that said fucking graffiti is a fun crime. It's the only thing I left for him. They didn't get shit. Uh huh. So I have a question. Is there shit that people do graffiti wise that rubs you the wrong way that you think makes graffiti as a whole hot like shit that people can do that's a little bit too over the line, disrespectful to society? <laughs> not to not not to nah not to society, but I like, know where they were gonna go with it, but they're like, we're just not gonna ask you. Not to society, but like some toy shit is like if you see like a legend or somebody to put in a lot of work, okay, for sure and he's that. got a dope tag, but really it should be a fill in right there. Mm-hmm. And then some fucking lame comes and does a fill in over it. That part is lame, but, what, but I, that's about it. I'm talking about like when I seen videos of people like writing on cop cars and shit, like middle of the day. Oh, man, bro, it's just paint on a surface, dog. It's you can't hate on it. Hell, no. his own. I mean, I. I would paint on a church. I'm not against it. Really? I would not. Some people feel their way. Is that because you I don't, are against I, organized religion? Or is that because I'm you just believe anything. you should be able to write on anything? <laughs> I just the, see the kind of bullshit that they'd be pushing on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, mm, mm. a little spray paint probably wouldn't hurt. Interesting. I wouldn't paint on a church either. I'll I paint in an abandoned church. I'll do an abandoned church. Yes. A church that's active and well and there's Diaz on Sunday. I'm I mean, not if it's not that. if it's a nice suburban fucking church, but if you're in fucking New York City and it's facing the front of the street and the whole, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I would always get, get into it. that argument. Would you? Here's a question: Would you be the first one to write in a church? If it was a church there, brand new by itself, would you be the first a one to freshie? bomb on it? Like, of course not. Would you? I don't know. <laughs> That's that's well, that's, that's a question you should ask me. It's not pretty intense that's shit. That's pretty intense shit. Uh, wow. I'm sure. I'm the eight, eight, eight Man, years old. You're my brother. Yeah. No, I'm not religious oh, at all. Shit. I'm not religious at all. It's not a matter of <laughs> no, my no, religious no. preference. That's not what it is. It's a matter of fact of what a, a church means in the pillar of society. I don't you know operate in that, that pillar. People, I don't, just, people I don't just, operate in that pillar. Dog. Like you know what I'm saying? There, there's some graffiti artists who their whole world is like Jesus Christ, and like you know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to even like. I do enough shit for people to point fingers at. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to do the obvious shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't need the people be. I don't want people looking for me because of one tag on one building because that exactly, means that much yeah. to them. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's a better building than anything else, but 
tagging on that building is going to make a lot of go gun happy Christian, Catholic, whatever, Protestant, That's Jewish ch- cops right. very gun his ass. In which case, <laughs> if you we don't want that for sure. I don't need that kind of act. I don't energy. want you bike a church. Well, but this is the thing. When I was just in Brooklyn, there's a couple different spots that we were riding that are basically like That's all I'm for, saying. like veterans of war monuments. And these are like famous spots that like everybody who bikes or skateboards has ridden and nobody gives a fuck. And it's like one of these rails has been people have been riding for 20 years. Like I but I I've ridden it. I don't give a fuck. But a church would I ride my bike on a rail at a church? Yeah, I don't give a fuck if it was cool. If I, if it, <laughs> but but again, I'm not trying to like Fuck my shit. I'm not going to like go grind the fucking cross just to make a statement or something. I'm not trying to be like extra disrespectful of the yeah, church. No like I said. Okay, so, so you want to hear the Placita Vera? Nah, I'm just. You can't do that, right? Nah. What the fuck is that? That's like one of the biggest, it's like the biggest church in Los Angeles. Cesar Chavez. Of Cesar Chavez? I think probably one of the first churches in Los Angeles, if you get the history. That was like the beginning of Los Angeles, the center of where LA was started. I would just leave that. That's one of the most cultural yeah, nah. places of the I'm just saying, like you said, in New York, you're, there historic. are certain spots. If it's there, like I wouldn't be against it. I'm a, you've never seen a stuff on a church bus, just for the record. <laughs> you never seen For the record, but I'm not, I wouldn't hate on anybody if that's the spot that's they, they hate. I got it's, a not, homie. it's not worth the back. I got a homie that I've been friends with for like since he was a kid. And bro, he's like, Die hard graffiti artist all of a sudden and I fucking I'm like worried about him because it's like the way he's going it's like you're gonna get busted at some point dude like I don't, I don't know. think they give a fuck about it anymore bro in New York I don't know man. definitely and not in New York have you, that, dude it's that's an fucking crushed right view. now really? it's crushed mm-hmm. like mid 90s shit yeah ridiculous but I mean shit if they catch you red handed they're still gonna <laughs> get your ass you just get a fat ass ticket you gotta show up to court but fucking graffiti- not even that you fucking Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, the homie got caught when we were out there. He was fucking done out in two hours. <laughs> Damn. Top five younger graffiti crews coming up that you guys give it to. Crews or individuals? Crews, crews. Young- or, 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 or should individuals. individuals. Oh, that's a good one. <coughs> no, ma. Top five individuals. Or just, I mean, I mean, so you could put them, but just, just five individuals or five crews or cr- individual crews that you've seen get up. At your like now that you're older and you're like that are still going yeah like or? no no like that 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 are new but you guys seen them doing their shit and you're like fuck it keep doing your shit you guys are you know you guys are making graffiti kind of look good you know what I mean like stay alive like it's dope you know what you guys are doing you guys aren't doing like maybe the fucking uh, <clears throat> the REMs hmm. um, yeah. obviously you said the maybe the OTRs maybe the yes, uh, uh, WAIs no they but they've all been around though. You said you newer, newer crews? crews? Yeah, newer, newer crews. crews. So I would oh, say yeah, shit. maybe guys. RXIs. Okay. As far as like a crew that are you know, newer crews that I've seen that have been doing it for a few years. Oh, B and Dub shit. Yeah. Yeah. B&Dub, B&Dub, yeah, maybe B&Dub the B and Dubs. B and Dubs kill it. Uh, all the like, STP things. He's so saying new crews. I'm saying well, like. I mean, that's I'm not new, like, but yeah, but. But like, but like. That's about it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. That's for fine. me that I could think of off top. There's a bunch of the crews out there. It's like this. This. People doing it different aspects, different, you know, different things. They doing it. If there's somebody watching this right now and they're like, all right, I'm sold. I want to be a bomber. That's right. What would you tell them? How do you get in the game? What's the respectful way to go about learning the craft? You just have to pick a dope name, do a little research, <laughs> and go have a good time. There's no expectations. <laughs> there's no right or wrong. Just go rip it. If it makes you feel good, do it more. If you don't like it or if you're afraid of jail or any of that shit, don't do then it. it's not for you, yes, for and sure. just don't not don't do it. Period. You know, mm. there's legal walls you could probably go paint, but if you're trying, like you said, a bomber, just know that that's you're gonna go to jail, right? At some point, I'm somebody who I'm not I'm not gonna go do graffiti, but I frequently get sucked into watching fucking YouTube videos of people doing graffiti. Is there any shit like content wise, whether it's Instagram or YouTube, that you watch that you think is dope and worth checking out for graffiti? Yeah. Nah, just I would say travel, bro. Stamp that passport. That's not an option. That's I want to sit it. on my couch <laughs> and watch people spray paint shit on TV. <laughs> you fuck with any grab? I don't really fuck with it. I'm into motocross, so that's really what my computer shits. I would just be all into moto like a nerd. See, I'm watching other people's subcultures. So I'm too pussy to take part. Watching, watching a graffiti. Do you want to come paint on or what? Yeah. Hell no. You watch you it on the wall. I know, right? He's been offered offer it a couple hey, times. I, 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 I offer it on the trash. for a minute. Have Garbage. you tried it? You ever tried it? Eh, it's been like 20 years. What so was your nickname really when count. you were painting? <laughs> it was some bullshit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want anybody Googling me, so I'm not letting that out. 
Oh. I got some photos that I'll bring in for you. You got some photos. I did a roller on a train one time. I'll show you that. You'll be like, get the what? fuck out. You didn't do no. I Where swear. in Boston? On a fucking train back in the day. Bro, yeah. if you give me that, I'll pay for that. So I'll frame it in my you, house. You want he my. Was just in Boston? Yeah, Boston was tight. <laughs> no, you want the M22 graffiti history lesson? Is, so basically, I was on the 12 ounce profit forums. I'm like 15, and I met these dudes. There was this dude, Aves, and this dude, Spec, who was a huge legend in Network. Boston. Spec Network crew? Yes. Yeah. And I ended up meeting up with them at the mall because I was talking about how I had a fire ass train yard and they were like super into it and they lived, you know, 40 minutes away or some shit. So we meet up, they realize I'm not a cop. We go to the train yard and I'm like this young ass kid just watching these dudes do these insane pieces and they're smoking blunts and drinking 40s and I'm young as fuck. I've never been around that before. You're hyped. Oh, hell yeah. Hyped. Oh, I took the dope. fucking Krylon oh. pill that <laughs> night, my friend. And uh, man, we even got chased out of there one time because they kept coming back and like they were doing crazy shit. There was this dude, Kems, like K-E-M-S, who was just doing a whole fucking top to bottom train. He still paints big shit like Mind that. Mind blowing. And, and and the fucking, the, the, the railroad cops or whatever, they show up and I'm watching this motherfucker like not want to leave. Like he's trying to put the finishing touches on it because his shit was like, 95 percent done like it would have I, I know I, I could tell that it would have been painful for him to have that shit running and just to have these details at the top not filled in and he was so like but we ended up fucking running through the woods and they didn't get us but i got good memories well, of that's shit. the best part yeah that is every get time away. you get away it's yes. a fucking great feeling it is it is mm. what are the number one rule what's the number one rule in graffiti for me have fun if it ain't fun for you, why the fuck are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you don't really get anything out of it. But if it makes you as an individual happy, like it does for me, then that's number one. Otherwise, mm. respect. Find something else. That's right. Because if you're so gung ho, you want to go out and start writing all over people's shit, you're going to learn really, really, really fast that that wasn't the right approach. Mm. You know? I'll keep it 100. Even you guys this long in this game, is it still bombs? Straight letters over throw and shit like that. That's mm. still the rule. I don't. Okay. For the most part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rules still very, apply. Very, very, very exempt. I can't. I agree to disagree, but yeah, yeah. It depends. It depends who you're asking. Like everyone's got an opinion. Yeah. Obviously, there's no. Yeah, role. sure. Some people feel still like feel if, that way. You feel like somebody has a banging ass straight letter, and you just fucking. You're kind of a douche if you go over it with a throw, right? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, like that. Definitely. But no, my sister's like. <laughs> I mean, it depends what the criteria. If you personally don't like that person, then fuck him. Then, yeah, yeah. Yes. That's exactly. Yes. I'm not, yeah. That's not what I'm applying yes, to. I'm but, talking about like yes, yes, a yes. kid with a can is walking down the street and sees some dope pieces, some dope throwing the walls, wants to tag on it, or just doing scribble scrabble. That's some bullshit. That's bullshit. I, I there was this guy back in the day that I painted with Ouija, and he only painted with stock caps. Is that still a thing? Does anyone do it's, that? I mean, it's a technique if people still yeah, paint with a stock it, right? tip. I mean, it definitely did not look as good as everybody else's shit, it, but it was like his own it's style. It's different now. It was kind yeah, of this it, different thing. It's a functional thing. Yeah. You know, it's like... Probably made his life simple in some ways. But it's a thing like with the newer, the new wave, the new, the, the youth, they'd be liking that stock tip, really? trippy, anti-style, mm. weird You know, shit. it's crazy. Now that you think about it, I think, I remember when, like, we'll go paint and do hot boy shit. We thought, I thought I was like, damn, they like shit. You're fucking lit. You're active. But then now that I think about it, I remember the others like me, like, forget that stupid. You're going to go to jail. Go in the night. <laughs> but I just think the daylight shit, the general rush does you, feel better. You just vibe it out. If you're yeah. catching, like, if you're just doing a run up and you're just, you know, driving around, you're like, nah, it's pretty fucking dead. I think we could bang it out. You know, go with that gut, that intuition. If, if you feel it, rock it. If not, you know, come back at night. I respect it. I respect it. Thank you guys for uh, entertaining all of my toy questions and whatnot. I, I love <laughs> yeah, Appreciate yeah, you uh, even thinking about dope. having us on here. We're all toy questions. It's been very educational. This shit was lit. Yeah. It was fun. Good shit, man. Good We're, times. Much That's respect. Nice. You right guys on. holding it down all these years, doing crazy, legendary shit. Still we got going. We got to make that shit the background of the thumbnail. This shit's lit. Yeah, we got to find the the picture somewhere in Google, right? Yep. This picture so we could just make shit. it. You could, you could, yep. Fire. And thank you. Yeah, this is going to look amazing on the wall in here for sure. Appreciate you guys. Thank appreciate you, you guys. Appreciate you. 100%. And do, thank you, Duno, for uh, introducing Yeah, shout us. out, Duno. Zoner. Sure. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> yes, sir. Gang shit. MTA. Yep. All day, for sure. No Jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Like, comment, and subscribe. Nojumper.com if you want to support. Thank you. Bow.